In this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why being ghosted hurts so much. Hi everyone, my name's Fern Lullum, I'm a motivational speaker, and on this channel I give you practical strategies and tips to improve your emotional and mental health in any situation. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Today I want to start with a question. What's worse than hate? It's indifference. Have you ever been ghosted? If you haven't, and you've been lucky enough to escape the phenomenon altogether, ghosting is when somebody close to you could be a friend, could be a romantic interest, that you've been having an ongoing conversation with and everything's been going fine, or so you thought, suddenly just drops out of your life, out of the blue, and disappears like a ghost. In today's online dating culture, 50% of men and women have reported that they've been ghosted. So it's happening a lot. If you're in this position, you're certainly not alone. People who ghost are primarily focused on their own emotional discomfort and aren't thinking about the effects it has on the other person, while in reality the person being ghosted is feeling disrespected, betrayed and very disappointed, especially if it's somebody that they felt they had a special relationship with and possibly even a future with. So let's get into it, here are the five top reasons why being ghosted hurts us so much. Number one. Social rejection actually activates the same pain pathways in our brain as physical pain. Can you believe this? According to psychologytoday.com, the pain of emotional rejection can be lessened by exactly the same tablets that you might take for a headache. So, in other words, you're just as justified about complaining about being ghosted as you are if you hit your head and it hurts like bilio, or you fall over and graze your knee. Number two. Ghosting leaves you with no cue about how to react, and if you're anything like me, that leaves you with a million questions. I mean, should you be really worried about them? Maybe they're laying in hospital somewhere. Maybe they've fallen from a great height. Or perhaps you shouldn't be worried at all. I mean, maybe their battery just died. Maybe they've been so chock-a-block all day they just haven't had a chance. Or maybe they're planning an amazing surprise for you. And if you get angry at them, it's just gonna be really awkward because they've done something really nice just for you. Oh my God, how do you know what to think? Seriously though, staying connected to other people is very important for humans. Our brains actually have a social monitoring system, or ironically, SMS, which constantly monitors our environment for cues about how to react to any situation. Ghosting completely deprives us of those cues, so we're left feeling totally lost and absolutely out of control. It's an awful feeling. Number three. Ghosting not only causes us to question the validity of the relationship, but also, and worse in my opinion, it causes us to question ourselves. What did I do wrong? How did I let myself be treated like this? Was there anything I could have done to stop it? What led up to this? It makes us doubt ourselves and it makes us feel like we're to blame for why somebody has done this to us. Self-questioning is the result of psychological systems which are in place to monitor your social standing and relay that information back to you through feelings of self-esteem and self-worth. Number four. Ghosting is the ultimate use of the silent treatment, which is considered by many psychologists to be emotional cruelty. It leaves you powerless, with no way to ask questions to help you process the experience. It also prevents you from having your feelings heard, which inevitably damages your self-esteem through the feeling that nobody even cares how you feel. Number five. Ghosting, regardless of the ghost's intent, and let's face it, some will dress it up as they're trying to spare your feelings or they're not trying to say anything mean, is still, nonetheless, a passive-aggressive interpersonal tactic, and as such, it can leave huge scars, bruises and psychological wounds which the person being ghosted will carry with them throughout their life and into their next relationships. So there you have it, five reasons why being ghosted hurts us so much. 
Like I said at the beginning, more and more people are being ghosted. You're definitely not alone, but that doesn't negate how much pain you can feel when it happens to you. It's very easy for us to look at other people when it happens to them and think, oh, I just get over it immediately, or he isn't worth it anyway. But as I've just proven to you, it can cause real psychological effects on our brain. And that's something we need to work to heal. Give yourself time. Give yourself that process of getting better and growing stronger. That's what we need to be doing for ourselves emotionally. Don't just fall into the trap of thinking, well, if they don't care, I don't care. Because it's okay to care. You've built up a relationship that matters to you and you need to acknowledge that and feel the pain in order to move forward with a healthier emotional life. Give this video a thumbs up if you've been ghosted yourself or you know somebody who has and let's see just how many people this is affecting. And leave me a message in the comments below and let me know how it's impacted your life? How did you feel? Or have you ever ghosted somebody else and what were your reasons for it? I'd love to join the discussion and find out more on this topic. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn more about how to heal your emotional pain or how to improve your mental health in general, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day as though you were a beautiful rainbow after a huge shower of rain. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! People who ghost are cons- Especially if it's somebody that they thought they were got. <sighs> that leaves you with a minefield- It prevents- <clears throat> Number four. <laughs> that was good. Give- <laughs> And leave me a comment in the comments. <laughs> oh god.